everybody, it's me, Laura, and today we're going to be doing my play on words plants, the spider plant and the spider flowers plant. And what can I say? It's October. It's time to get out and think about Halloween a little bit. So right here, we're going to start creating our little spiders. And I've got some black clay. I'm just going to take a little tiny bit. It's not that big. I mean, what is this thing? It's like an eighth of an inch, maybe. <laughs> So these are tiny little spiders. So with our tiny little spiders, or I should say my little tiny balls here, we're going to turn these into very tiny teardrops. So just against your uh, regular work surface, go ahead and make that teardrop. And notice I'm kind of pointing the bulbous end or pinching the bulbous end. I'm doing that because I thought, well, that would be a nice place to put the face part, of course, for the spider. I'm also taking some 30 gauge wire and I'm straightening that out either with a pot holder or whatever. And I'm wrapping this around my X-Acto knife handle. Now this handle is one half of an inch in diameter. So if you have a rod or something else that's about a half inch, use that. I'm then going to cut that off and then I'm going to take one piece of this and I'm going to thread this through and wrap it around on one side of these little circles I've made. Okay, so remember when you wrap it, wrap four times. Okay, once you do that, take the other wire and wrap that around as well. And then once you have that done, go ahead and take those two ends and twist them together. Okay, so you'll have it wrapped around really secure like and then take the two other ends. You're going to twist those together. You'll then take your wire cutter. And once you have that twisted up into, it almost looks like a bunch of little halos. <laughs> That's how I always think of this, like a bunch of little halos. Anyway, wrong season. Anyway, <laughs> I'm taking this, I'm cutting that off. And then I'm going to take my little, my little body of my spider. And, you know, I made that point also because I've got some, this is 22 gauge green wire. I put that on the end and then sink the little silver wires on one side. Now, once you have that done and you're going to do that to all the little bodies that you're making here, you're going to sink that green wire on the end. You're going to put the silver on the side and then go ahead and bake each of these little bodies in the oven. Okay, so each of these little bodies have been baked, okay, and I'm just cutting right in the middle of that circle. I'm cutting, or I should say, those four circles. I'm cutting those with my wire cutter and I'm splitting them apart. Hence, giving you the eight legs to each of our little spiders. Now, once I have that done, I like to go back in and I'm going to take some super glue because, you know, I've got that silver on the bottom side and even on the green wire. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put a little bit of super glue right where the wires go into the body. And then I'm going to take a small smidgen of black clay. I'm going to lay that right over the top of where I've glued it down and then I'll bake it yet again.
All right, now our spiders have been thoroughly baked. They've got the little black on the back side, so it's, these are nice and secure now. Now I can move the legs a lot better. So you could kind of tell when I went to go clip them, yeah, that thing can easily come out. So that's why the clay is necessary for that second baking. So from right here, all I'm gonna do is angle up my legs whichever way I like. I absolutely love these little guys. They're so cute. <laughs> And you could take it, you can cut them down, because I mean, they might be a little bit too long to, for you. Um, cut them down to what you like best. I also like to take um, my needle nose plier, and some of them I'll make an absolute like little crook in the leg, so it looks like it's really like the little bend in the leg with the spider. All right, so right here I've got my spiders pretty much made the way I like them, and I'm just going to trim down that green wire, and with one of my pre-made terracotta pots, I'm placing it in my pot. So if you guys want to figure out how to make my terracotta pots, I have a whole little video on that alone. Go check that out, and you'll be able to see how to make my little terracotta pots. And from here though, like I said, I'm taking each of these spiders, I'm trimming down that green wire to where I like it best, and then I'm just going to go ahead and push that into my little terracotta pot. Um, once I like the height of these, I'll take a little bit of super glue to secure that down into the pot. And then I'll take a little bit of my green clay and I'll start creating the leaves to the spider plant. And the leaves are going to be somewhat um, similar to what the actual spider plant might be. I mean, these are going to be long leaves and we're gonna just have fun creating these. I'm making those teardrops, pressing them flat, bringing in my needle tool, dragging that line up the middle, giving me my really thin leaf, and I like to pull it on this. So this is where, if you have soft clay, it does come in kind of handy because it just makes it so much easier. Um, I also, you know, at this point, that terracotta pot has been baked, so it's not going to stick terribly good. This is where your super glue might come in a little bit handy right in the pot so then that way then you can add in your little tiny leaves.
Once you've added in all the green leaves you like to your little spider plant, go ahead and bake this for about seven to 10 minutes, and then we'll move on and create some fun little extra details to our little spider plant. Our little spider plant has now been baked and I'm going to bring in my polymer clay film with the words to go onto our little terracotta pot. If you want to figure out how I did this little piece of polymer clay film, you can also check out my two videos on the clay transfer with the second one showing you how I did this. Now I'm using a little bit of super glue. I trimmed it up with my scissors and I'm placing my little sign onto the terracotta pot. Make sure you trim up this little piece of film as closely as possible <laughs> before you go ahead and glue it down. But after that, I then took some of my orange acrylic paint and I'm just making a little stripe up the bodies of each of my spiders. Once I got the little orange stripes up the little parts of the bodies on these spiders, I took some white acrylic paint and decided to make my little dots right on the very bottom there, get forming their eyeballs. I'm gonna then take a little bit of black, I'll put that right over the white and so on. Uh, I then also put a little bit of my orange paint right around that spider plant um, little sign. Just another little added detail in creating my little spider plant. Now I am showing you all the little details I am creating on this little spider plant. However, I didn't like it. <laughs> the sign was a little too big for the rim on my terracotta pot and me being the perfectionist I am, I decided to take all of that off and try again. So I went ahead and made some more of this film with the, you know, the words going all in one straight line and this worked so much better. So take that into account <laughs> when you decide to do this. And you know, just as an FYI too, the thing was I was able to take that all off. That's the nice thing. I mean, even if it was acrylic paint, it will all come off and you could start all over again, make another little piece of film and put your words right back where they were and have it where you really like it. So, you know, I mean, yeah, I had that down with super glue, but guess what? It came up. <laughs> so don't think it's ever just for certain, like you can't ever get, no, this stuff will come back up. You can place it back down again and have more fun.
All right, so here I have my little spider plant, and I just want to give you a quick picture of this little guy and what he looked like. But let's go ahead and move on to our little spider flower plant and create it as well. Okay, here I am not going to adhere to the spider flower plant. <laughs> I'm going to take my own liberties when it comes to creating these flowers. So I'm just creating a bunch of tiny little pink balls. I'm going to be using pink, purple, and white. And I'm just going to go ahead, flatten that disc, drag up two little lines like you just saw. And then I'm going to take a little super glue because these have been baked. These spiders have been baked. Place that right under where that little spider comes down and kind of create two more of these little petal type things and place them around the spider. This will give you just kind of a fun little flower, something different, it has a little bit of color to it. And you know, <laughs> when I did this, I didn't realize when I was doing it, I was like, oh my goodness, it looks like the little guy took a header right into the flower. And I'm like going, hmm, sounds like somebody else I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely me, definitely me. <laughs> Clutch Central right here. Anyway, I'm just going ahead and I'm adding in a little bit of my green clay right up at the base there. This kind of really makes it look like it goes into the stem. Looks like it's a really cute little flower. All right, with our second spider, I'm going to go ahead and do the similar thing like I did with the three petal, except we're going to go down in petal size. So what I decided to do with this one was I put a little super glue there, made one little petal in the purple, and then placed that right at the base of the spider. I thought, let's just go with one petal. Try that out. And in doing so, I thought, okay, take the green clay, make a ball, wrap, you know, create a log, press it flat, and wrap that around that petal. I thought this gives it a little bit of a variety and a little bit of a difference. Something different to kind of look at other than just three petaled flower. The, the thing is too is when I'm creating these pots sometimes it doesn't have that much room. So I thought well just a little bit of difference. What the heck? Use our imagination, right? So on this last one, on this last little spider, I'm going to create two little petals in the white and then wrap the green around those two little petals. Okay, now that we've created our little spider flowers, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring in some orange acrylic paint. We're going to create that little stripe up the bodies, and then we're going to trim this up and put this in my pre-made terracotta pot. And I decided not to put little, little eyes <laughs> on these little spiders. I, you know, I liked the idea of them taking a header. <laughs> It's just kind of it's a comedy thing what can I say something fun a little bit something different right um, you got the little legs you know so anyway I went ahead I painted up those little bodies we're gonna trim them up we're gonna go ahead and put those in our little terracotta pot and then add in some other extra little details
After I put my little flowers into the pot, I know you're thinking, oh no, she's with the two words again. <laughs> There's gonna be a little difference in this guy. I, I added a little bit more room in this terracotta pot and I decided to make a pure little sign in front and in the pot. You know, you do that every once in a while. You're like, okay, I wanna put a cute little sign in my little potted plant. So right here, that's what I'm going to do. But from here, I'll just go ahead and let you guys watch my hands talk as I create my little spider flower plant. So this is the result in creating my little spider flower plant. It was really fun to do, but let's go ahead and move on. I wanted to create one more pot for you guys to enjoy.
Okay, so I'm bringing in some white clay again, and I'm going to go ahead and put the spider flower sign down. It's going to be one single line. I wanted to give you guys an idea of like, what would this be like in the regard of a little sign in the pot, but it's all in one straight line instead of like two little lines. Yeah, spider flowers. Just something a little bit different, another option for you, and see how this little spider flower come about. I also changed it up just a little bit when it came to the legs, and you'll see that as I go on with this little pot.
All right, here I have my third little pot. You notice I put in my little curling wire and I painted up the little ends on the little legs of the spider, kind of brought them out a little bit more. Now I have the end results of my little spider plants and my spider flowers. Please use this for study and reference. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and leave me a little comment. I'm always wondering what you're thinking. Otherwise, I am sending out my biggest hugs to each and every one of you, and I hope you have a fantastic day.